Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to work on hundreds and we're going to do numbers 200 to 1000. Let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have number 645. So we've got 645. And on the right hand side we're going to work through the question what is 100 more than 645? Now the first stage is, let's write the number down again, are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well, it's more than, so therefore we're going to go forwards. How much are we going to go forwards? Well, the 5 and the 4 are not going to change because they're going forwards by 0. So we can just, well, we're not going to write those down. We'll write the answer uh, in one go. As for the 6, well, that is, that's 100, and the 1 is 100. So the 6 is going to go forward by 1. 6 going counting forwards by 1 is 7. So the answer becomes 7. The other two don't change. 4, 5. 745. On this side, let's work through 100 less than. So what is 100 less than 645? The first stage, let's just write the number again. 600 and 45. Are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well it's less than so we're going to go backwards. How much are we going to go backwards by? Well the 5 and the 4 they're not going to change because they're going to go back by 0. The 6 however is going to change don't forget that's 100 and the 1 is 100. That's going to go back by 1. So 6 going back by 1 is 5. So the answer becomes 500, and the other two digits don't change, 545. It is as easy as that. Now let's work through one more example. Now suppose this time round we have the number 902. 902. So on this side we're going to work through what is... 100 more than 902. What is 100 more than 902? Let's write the number down again. Are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well, it's more than, so we're going to go forwards. How much are we going to go forwards? Well, you know this by now. The first two digits are not going to change. They're going to remain the same. The 9, however, is going to go forward by 1. So 9 going forward by 1 is 10. So let's write that down. So we've got 10 and we've got the 0, 2 from the last two digits. We can put a comma here just to make sure it looks nice and neat. So 100 more than 902 is 1002. Now on this side, let's do 100 less than. 100 less than 902. Again, let's just write the number down to begin with. Are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well, it's less than, so therefore we're going to go backwards. How much are we going to go backwards? Well, you know this by now. Those two digits, the 0 and the 2, are not going to change because they're going back by 0. The 9, however, which is a hundreds, is going to go back by 1, because the 1 is 100. So 9 counting back by 1 is 8, and our answer becomes 802. So 100 less than 902 is 802. And that is how we do more than and less than of hundreds with numbers from 200 to 1000.